Hi everybody, uh, this is a walkthrough of the Ascension cards. Um, this is a project I started back in about 2009 or 2010. It's 11 of my um, uh, paintings containing light codes around the Ascension process, um, including uh, Twin Flames and um, the new souls, the incoming souls that are coming in. Um, and um, I'm about to restart the the project and actually update it with current energies and all the paintings in between and how they all fit together and work together. But in the meantime, I have actually quite a lot of these sets. They're just little homemade sets um, of 11 Ascension cards that you can use. Um, for guidance, for affirmations, to receive healing energies or even to use in readings or in healing sessions with clients um, as they contain energies. They come in a, just a little organza bag, just very simple. And I'm just going to walk you through. Um, so I'm going to, um, I, I feel like I would like to uh, give these away really, really cheaply at the moment. Um, um, as it's a shame that they contain so much beautiful energy um, and they're not being used really um, so I would just love people to have them so I'm just going to um, put them out for five pounds that works out at US dollars at about 6.89 and Australian dollars at about nine pounds and ten cents nine dollars and ten cents um, but obviously with postage as well, but postage won't be much because they're very light and small. Um, they're like this size, kind of, they're not, they're not that big. Um, so what I'll do first is I'll just read to you, this is the instruction card that comes with it, how to use them. So what are Ascension cards? Um, so vibrational art is artwork that was created with a healing intention. Everything we see or touch holds a vibration. Those who are sensitive to these energies can sit on a chair in a park and feel the feelings of people who left the strongest energy imprint on it. In the same way, art holds the feelings and emotions of the creator. Healers are able to send healing energies across distance and time. The recipient can usually confirm receiving the healing frequency at the intended time, which is not necessarily the time you send it. Often a prop such as a teddy bear can be used to send the healing to in place of the recipient. Crystals also can be tuned to send healing energy through uh, or programmed for a specific purpose and so can art. These artworks have been created by a Reiki master spiritual healer, a multi-dimensional healer really, who has channeled the images, frequencies and meanings and has also imbued the pieces with healing energies and intentions. They now work as an energy channel to pass on energy to those who are willing to receive their energies. Each card is designed to be used individually in your environment to bring through a specific healing intention at different times in your life or to be used as part of a healing session in the way you might use crystals. This pack is specifically designed to assist spiritual growth and to help the recipient to move towards a higher vibrational state where their unique gifts emerge and bring them into alignment with their life's purpose. Um, so if you want to use them for guidance, um, if you have a question or a situation that's troubling you, you can use these cards for guidance. Simply hold your question or situation in your mind and select a card from the pack. You can do this in two ways. Hold the cards in your hands, fan them out and select one without looking at them. It may feel tingly or hot when you touch it, or you may see its position in your mind's eye. If you are very in touch with your intuition, you may choose to lay them out in front of you with the picture facing upwards and choose the one that stands out to you or calls to you. You may even see it before you lay them out. Read the back of the relevant card and apply the guidance section to your situation. You may also choose to select more than one card to clarify the situation or use a familiar layout such as selecting a card for the past, present and future of a situation. If you want to use it in a healing session, 
um, during a healing session, the recipient chooses the relevant cards from the pack and they have either a positive or negative response to. The cards they like are resonant and will assist in the healing. The cards they have a strong negative reaction to will bring to the surface issues that require integrating. Choose as many cards as are required or use the whole pack if you're intuitively guided to. When you're familiar with the cards, you may begin to see the ones you need before you begin. Lay them on or around the recipient and table as feels appropriate in the same way you would lay crystals or use chakra colours as a guide. For self-healing, if you've chosen a card from the pack with a healing intention, put it where you will see it whilst immersed in the troubling situation such as on your desk or by your bed or on your fridge. Look at it and explore every aspect of the painting, consider it and receive it. When you no longer need it, you will no longer feel an attraction to it or it will fall down. Okay, so that's the way to use them. I would like to have showed you that, but I only have two hands and one needs to hold the camera. I'm going to lay these out. These are the cards in the pack. Hopefully you can feel the energy of them as I lay them out. You can feel the energy getting stronger as each card joins. I know I can. So those are all the cards in the pack. There should be 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There we go. So this first one is about freedom. It's a divine guiding you out of difficult situations, um, guiding you in any difficult situation and through the storm and carrying you out to the clear horizon where you can fly freely. The one below that is Symphony, um, and there are two little angels in the corner. They represent like the overlighting souls of the physical world um, and how they, they move physical reality. The, um, the whale's tail is mastery. It masters all the levels of the being. It goes deep, deep, deep to the bottoms of the ocean. It's in charge of the Akashic records and all the records of all of history and every soul and all the levels and it it's it's so big it can really cope with um, strong currents and big waves and um, it can also be really still at the bottom of the ocean and it can jump out of its watery world and into the air so it can exist in both realities for a short time. This is about harnessing the energies of Atlantis. It's called the Atlantis portal. Um, and the world in the top is, um, is the 5D reality that we're anchoring, the new earth, the golden Atlantis, that is re-merging with um, 3D reality. And those crystals on the beach there are um, symbols of the... Um, crystals from Atlantis that we left behind that we can now retrieve um, so we're retrieving our gifts from golden Atlantis from 5d this is about alignment to your soul's purpose um, standing strong in your purpose standing proud um, but more in a physical reality way um, on the 3d and this one at the top here interesting I've put those there and in that um, layout and that is aligning to your soul's gifts um, and standing strong in your soul's gifts and your soul's purpose um, and walking proudly and strongly um, in your true authenticity of your soul and this is more the true authenticity of your physical being and obviously we've co I've connected them there with these two cards so I'll talk about those so Serenity, the white horse, is um, 
in its environment which and it is um, reflecting colors from its environment and taking it on it's almost like being empathic um, but then also it's imprinting in its environment so you can see its footsteps there are similar to the um, markings on its tail from the environment so as its uh, footprints in the background um, are making its mark the environment's making a mark on it in a similar way as footprinting or heart printing and this is about all that being in complete harmony what you give and take from the environment how you interact with it boundaries all really in complete harmony and oneness and flow um, so that's the soul coming down into physical reality, making its mark on the environment, learning from the environment in complete harmony and serenity. That one's really good for helping clear allergies or um, reactions to anything that's disharmonious. And this one is about the incoming souls coming in from divine um, being preconceived on the energetic and then the nautilus shell is it coming into physical manifestation so um <laughs> that's a, that does work really as that comes into physical manifestation and then that's the sole purpose in physical manifestation there this one is called grace um it's about being um, really strongly connected to your path in the physical world that's that one in the middle is the leader and you've got the masculine and the feminine aspects of you on each side um, and how they all work together it's like the three energies um, and powering forward in physical reality in grace and divine beauty and strength this one is um, it's called sanctity and it's or purity. I sometimes call it purity because it is just this divine creature uh, in crystalline form. It also represents the crystalline children, the crystal children, um, but all really all the new um, star seeds coming in um, and how it, it completely transmutes its environment. Everything is transmuted. Anything that is not pure is transmuted. This one has a twin flame. I've painted the twin flame and I will put that in the next deck. These will all be in the deck and then I'll include the new ones as well. Um, the twin flame is called Arrival. It's black. Also from the stars. Um, it's like yin yang. <laughs> Where this one... Um, Uh, uh, brings the light and clears anything that's dark the black one brings everything that's missing so this one clears everything that's not aligned to light and the other one brings in everything that's missing um, to complete the full picture that one clears the other one brings um, yeah and this one is about present it's being in the present moment being fully embodied in spirit and um i i think you can really feel the energy from that it's just so present so focused so clear and so expanded so um i'm going to just show you that on the um flip side of the cards is the guidance on how to use them so this is the the peacock this is the one that wants me to talk about it so uh, the peacock represents alignment and symmetry of the physical energetic and spiritual multi-dimensional bodies it brings you into the present as a whole being from where you can conduct yourself with integrity and bring through your unique gifts the feather display of the peacock signifies the luminance that emerges from expansion of inner beauty and expression of the soul essence when we extend our divine connection energetically upwards into the infinite oneness and ground deeply into the earth we expand our soul essence outward through all our energy bodies and this becomes visible on some level to others the guidance 
If you picked this card for your guidance, you're reminded to align to your higher guidance and to connect to the divine and the earth equally. From this place, all that we attract to us is in alignment to our being. That which drops away are the situations or people that are no longer in alignment with us. Holding on to them holds us out of alignment with our true self and our true life purpose and potential. Whatever you intend is what you align to. The longer you hold that alignment, the longer you attract those that are in alignment with your intention. You're guided to hold the intention, be in alignment with your life's purpose and your true self on all levels of your being so that your intuition leads you to people and activities that are aligned to your true self and the vibrational properties. Having this card in your environment or as part of your healing session will help you to hold your multidimensional energy bodies in alignment and to retrieve healed aspects of yourself that have been scattered through trauma. By being whole once again, you can release old patterns that are holding you out of alignment with your true self and your true life's purpose. You'll naturally have a clearer connection to the guidance from your higher self and attract people and situations that move you forward on your true path and help you reach your true potential. Um, and that reminds me um, of how these came about because I was doing um, a lot of healings. I was doing about five healings a day, um, five or six days a week. Um, and um, it was amazing how the energies I was bringing in really connected to the clients that were coming in for healing. So they were drawn to me as I was working on those particular issues. Um, and then what I worked on in them also brought codes in that enhanced the energies of the paintings. So brought codes into the paintings and it was a very co-creative um, experience really, uh, co-creative co artworks really between uh, what I was bringing in directly into the artworks and then um, working with those codes in the patient, in the clients um, and then them also what I worked on in them then um, fed back into the paintings as those codes came in so it was a really beautiful um, orchestration and then these cards also um, and all of my paintings they also can be used in conjunction with each other in, in different geometries to hold different um, intentions so um, yeah, I'll do another video about that so if you um, are interested in these cards, I've got quite a lot. I don't know, I've probably got like 50 sets um, going really cheap because I would like them to be used um, and I would like the energies to be out there. Um, and, and they're going to be obsolete when I actually um, create the, the new deck of... Um, more of the paintings so if you're interested you can just email me below i'll also put links below for more information to a very old website <laughs> which needs updating um but there is information on these cards on there so it was updated at that time so i hope um you were all able to receive the energies from those and do be aware that you have received energy so you may need some downtime um, and to process those and let them move through and integrate and to drink some water. Take care everybody. Blessings.